Bhutan has announced that its ground station infrastructure development work is nearly complete, and that it is on track to begin using Sat-9, aka South Asia satellite, by the end of the month. We have already connected three off-grid blocks in the country, in remote areas, using this satellite's services. As we speak now, the installation of the ground infrastructure for the South Asia satellite is already in the advanced stages and we hope we will be able to start using the services by the end of this month, said Sonam Fatsho, Chief ICT Officer, Department of IT and Telecom, Ministry of Information and Communications, Bhutan, at the 25th Asia-Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum, APRS 25, in Singapore. Bhutan has been allocated one Kuban transponder on Xat-9. This is a geostationary satellite developed and operated by India, under its space agency ISRO, which India is sharing with its neighbors to spur regional development. The transponder on Xat-9 is Bhutan's first space-based asset, with the second, a CubeSat known as Bhutan-1 being a CubeSat developed by Bhutanese engineers and launched from Japan's module on the International Space Station, ISS, earlier this year. With, the South Asia satellite, we plan to utilize for services for emergency communications. We also want to use this satellite capacity for domestic and international backup, especially in terms of voice connectivity. We are also thinking of uplinking the two national TV channels to this satellite, said Fatsho. At the moment, Bhutan is trying to explore the possibilities of space utilization, and hopes to develop its space capabilities, though. Launched on May 5, 2017, the South Asia satellite is serving India as well as project participants Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Maldives, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. The satellite carries 12 Kuban transponders, with each country having been gifted one dedicated transponder.